Hello, my name is Donnie Hayes. I'm a data management application engineer on the Vault team at Kativ. In this video, I'm going to talk about using content center libraries in Autodesk Vault and how to configure Inventor to use the vaulted libraries. After this session where we configure content center libraries for Vault, you will want to dive deeper into the use of content center. Check out Understanding and Managing Inventor Content Center where we show you how to use and customize your experience to get the most from your Vault and Inventor toolset. I'm going to talk about how a vaulted content center can be more beneficial than a local content center and walk you through configuring content center libraries in Vault. Why use content center libraries in Autodesk Vault instead of local libraries? Using content center libraries in Autodesk Vault instead of local libraries ensures centralized data management, consistent version control, and improved collaboration by allowing multiple users to access and modify components while maintaining data integrity. Vault also provides enhanced security through user permissions, automatic backups and recovery, and reduces file duplication by reusing existing parts. This results in greater consistency fewer design errors, and streamlined project management, making vault-based libraries ideal for complex team-based projects. To install content center libraries inside of vault, you will need access to your vault server and be assigned the administrator role. Standard libraries can be downloaded from Autodesk's website for vault versions 2024 and newer. For vault versions prior to 2024, you can search for Autodesk Inventor, the year of Inventor that you're using, remote content center libraries. Each library will, be, will need to be downloaded separately and installed on the Vault server. So let's jump into configuring content center libraries inside of your Vault. First, we'll need to go to our Vault server and get our libraries. As mentioned, to get content center libraries for versions 2024 and newer, we'll go to manage.autodesk.com slash products. You'll need to sign in and search for Vault Professional or Vault Basic, depending on which one you have. We're going to go look at Vault Professional. We're going to select the version that we're using. And in this case, we're using Vault 2025. And we're going to click View Details. Once this page opens, we're going to select the Libraries button. This will give us a list of all the available standard content center libraries that we can download for use. We're going to then select the library or libraries that we want to install in our vault and download them. If you are using Autodesk Vault uh, 2023 or older, you'll need to search, do a search in your browser using this phrase, Autodesk Inventor. Insert the year of Inventor that you're using remote content center libraries. And it should bring up one on the first search result, Autodesk Inventor, the year content center libraries that you're looking for. Click that link, open up another page, listing all of the standard content center libraries available for download. You'll click the link and to download the video, the, you'll click the link to download the library that, or libraries that you would like. You'll then go to your downloads folder where you will see the content center libraries you've downloaded. Once they're all downloaded, you will then right click on the libraries individually, select open. This will open an installation dialog. 
select yes. Now it's going to ask you to choose where to install by default. It's C Autodesk and click install, but do not be fooled. This does not actually install the library to your vault. What this does is it extracts a zip file of the library and an installation program for you to install these libraries into Vault. And so we'll let that continue till it's complete. Then we'll click Finish. Once we've gone ahead and done that for each of the libraries we want it to install, we're then going to navigate to the folder that we selected in that first dialog. Um, in our case, we left it as default, so it's Autodesk or C Autodesk. We're going to go to this folder called Content Center Library, and it's going to have the year that you selected. In this case, we selected 2025. And you'll see all of the libraries that we have selected to install. From here, you're going to right click on this setup. BAT file and edit. Here you're going to put in your vault username and password and it needs to be a, an administrative username and password. Your SQL username and SQL password and you only need to fill these out if they are different than the default. If you've changed the administrator user that comes default inside a vault and the password to that account or change the default SQL username and password, you will need to enter these. Um, as it says here, leave these empty if you're using the default value. After Completing that, you're going to right click and run as administrator. That will then install your libraries to Vault. Once the installation is complete, you can then open the ADMS program. and see your libraries installed. These are all the standard libraries. To add a custom library for your components as a company, you will go into the Autodesk Data Management Server Console, or ADMS, right-click on Libraries, and create library. Here you'll enter your name. The name or here you'll enter the name of the content center. And since we're using 2025, we're going to select Autodesk Inventor 2025 for the partition. And say OK. This will create a custom content center library inside of Vault for our users to use. There it is. Now that we've installed these libraries into the or onto the Vault server. We now go into our Vault client and right click on Project Explorer and select New Library Folder. Here we'll give this a name of Content Center Files and select OK. 
and that will create a content center file. This folder is a folder inside of Vault used to house all of the parts that Content Center will generate from Inventor. So now that we've got Content Centers installed on the Vault server, we've got a folder for those files to go into inside of our Vault. We'll need to go to Inventor and make sure we have Inventor configured to use the Vault libraries instead of local libraries. Now that we've got Vault configured to house our Content Center libraries, Let's jump into Inventor and configure it to look at Vault for our Content Center files. So you want to open up Inventor, go to Application Options, find the Content Center tab, and underneath Access Options, you'll see two choices, Inventor Desktop Content or Autodesk Vault Server. We want the Autodesk Vault Server. We're going to select that, select OK. Then we want to make sure we are in, using our Vault project file and that we've got it checked out so we can make some changes to it. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings of our project file. And down here, you'll see this pencil with kind of a grid behind it. We're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to see all of our content center libraries. The ones in red are not available and are not installed onto the Vault server. So we're going to want to head, go ahead and just unselect those. If you're seeing a library that's red but is one that you use, you'll need to go ahead and add that to your Vault. So we want to make sure that we have our custom content center library selected as well. And then we're going to select OK. And then save. And it's going to go ahead and write everything and done. And that's really it. That's all you need to do to configure Inventor to look at Vault for your content center files. Now that we've configured Inventor to point to Vault for our content center libraries, check out the videos listed below for additional sessions on managing your content center files. And as always, if you need assistance with Inventor or Vault or content center files, you can always reach out to Kativ at support at and we'd be more than happy to help you out.